So I'm getting ready to install my new LED driver, and hopefully I remember to put this one up after the postbag video where I unpack the LED driver, but it all depends on what I upload first, I suppose. I wasn't really going to record anything, but then I decided um, I'd show you guys how these little clicky switches work. Um, I'm sure at some point everybody has had a power supply, or, or not a power supply, but a cord that has one of these switches on it, and you rotate it like this, and it turns it on and off. Um, but the insides of these are kind of interesting and sort of scary. So I'm going to go ahead and open this up, because you have to do it anyway to install it. So that little nut's going to fall off. And then we open up this side. Now, if you look on this side, let me zoom in. Focus, not turn the camera off. You'll see that on this side, we've got little pokey bits. Those bite into the insulation and into the wire. We've got the same thing on this side. And then we've got the switch here. Now, there's a little fiber washer here holding everything together. So I'm going to go ahead and quickly uh, sort of unscrew the screw from that fiber washer. Because if you try to pull the fiber washer off your more than likely going to just break it, and then that would be unfortunate, because it's needed in there to keep everything together. So that's the fiber washer off. Now we'll just pull, oops, there goes the screw, now we'll just pull this out. Now this, as you can see, it's just a piece of metal that goes across and makes contact with these two pieces of metal. So it's just a super simple, very uh, basic little switch there. So, we'll go ahead and put this back together real quick with the fiber washer. There we go. Don't mind the sounds of rednecks driving by. Alright. So, we'll just uh, get that fiber washer back on so that I don't lose it while I'm doing the rest of it. Now, here comes the fun part. Um, and the part that's even kind of scarier, and that's getting the wire into this. So, I have this power cord that I got at a dollar store. I just cut the the the, the end of it off here. Um, so, that's basically going to be bringing the AC into the uh, LED driver right here. But I wanted to be able to cut the lights off or adjust their brightness because this has a a cool um, brightness thing where if you turn it on and then you turn it off and then back on within a couple of seconds it goes down to 40% brightness and then if you do it again it goes down to 10% brightness which is a feature I hadn't planned on but I'm not going to complain about it um, so where do I where do I want to put the switch I think I'll put it right about here I think yeah right about here so here's what you have to do um, actually, I bet I can actually make this easier on myself. The first thing you have to do is actually cut one of the wires, uh, open, and I want to cut the live side, which I believe is the thin, the, the smaller pin. I'm going to just Google that real quick to make sure that I'm doing it right. Uh, which pin is, oops, is live, on a US book, here we go, uh, yeah, the live is the smaller one, so, um, we can just look at this side, uh, the smaller pin here is the smooth wire, so we're going to go ahead and cut uh, right about here, I think, should be good. So we're going to cut the live side wire open. And then we're just going to peel these away a little bit like that. Now the next step, I actually peeled those open a little too far, but that's okay. It shouldn't affect it. So the next step is you get the, the neutral wire, and you tuck it down in there, like so, and then the live wire has to come in and spread off to the side there. And then you do the same thing 
on this side. This cable is ever so slightly too large for this particular connector, but uh, the insulation is squishy enough that I should be able to get it to work. So now I'm just going to monkey that into position like so. I'm just going to push that down with my diagonal cutters. There we go. Push that one in. Right. Now comes the part where we put this along in here and we line up the pins on the casing here and then with any luck just making sure that the little teethy bits are lining up correctly here. We'll just uh, push them through the insulation like that most of the way and then I'll grab my screwdriver here and the nut which will go on this side and we'll tighten it down and hopefully the uh, tightening here will get the teeth of that wire to properly bite in. Right, then the next step is to install wires into here. And so, oops, sorry for the bang in the background there. There's no wire stripping gauge. How far in does that go? It doesn't go in very far. So, just open these up just a little bit and cut off a little bit of wire, or the insulation here. Let's do that. And we'll do this. Alright, we decided that live was the smooth wire. So we're going to put the neutral one in first. Not that it matters, but it's on the inside, so it'll make it a little easier. Um, I'm actually going to push these down with a flathead screwdriver. Bear with me as I reach back here. There we go. So we'll just push this down. Feed that into there. Oop, looks like I need to trim off some more. Alright, it's a little deeper than I thought. I don't want to leave too much of the insulation uh, off. Actually, let's uh, back this up and brighten the picture up just a little bit. There we go. Alright. I'm going to take a little bit more insulation off then, and repeat on this side. I suppose I can always trim off copper if it ends up being too long. Right. So, push these back up again. It's probably way... In all appearances, it seems that this wire might be slightly too thick for the connectors. That's all right. Yep. Now there's too much copper. Okay, so I have to cut off a little bit here. Ah, oh, sorry. Why is there... Most, a lot of manufacturers give you a stripping gauge for their uh, connectors. There we go. So, I'll uh, trim off a similar amount on this one. Goodbye, screwdriver. And just, yeah. I got my screwdriver out to, to push the wires down and then ended up not using it to push the wires down. Alright, now I just need the live side wire thing, and I'm going to go ahead and flip the gauge around to the smaller side, because I think that's more appropriate. Just make sure here. Oh, actually, it seems like the larger side is okay. Let's flip the back around then. Oh, click in. There we go. And then... that in. And that one feels a little too big. Can I just go without? 
It doesn't seem to really go along with that idea. Let's see. Oh, that should be fine. Just gonna need to bear down on bear down on it pretty tightly when I'm screwing it in. This is a somewhat spontaneous video, so I'm kind of just rambling because I don't have much to say. All right, now I need the larger Phillips head again. Where did my screwdriver go? There it is. I drop it again. Curse of only having two hands. Alright, so I'll go ahead and tighten down on this. Oh yeah, there we go. Alright, and that is the AC side installation. I won't show the DC side installation, of course, because I won't have my lights for it, but it's going to be the same thing. I'll take the, the DC uh, wires and throw them into the holes, and then the driver should be ready to go. Anyway, so just a little show and tell there. Um, I won't do my normal outro. For this one, you know what to do. Um, see you next time. Bye-bye.